Hi guys, I've said before that it seems that if you want to win the leadership of the Conservative Party, you either have to be or pretend to be just as crazy as its members. Kemi Badenoch, I'm not sure yet, is nuts or just faking it. So when she was asked about maternity pay when she appeared on a Times radio show, the Tory MP complained about government getting involved too much in people's lives. She clearly believes that maternity pay is something that's imposed on businesses and should be got rid of. Because in her eyes, it's a tax, and tax is bad. Have a listen to this. Do you think that the government could or should do more to help people with building a family? You know, we often talk about childcare, but we don't often talk about what comes before childcare. I, I think that one of the problems we have right now is that there is too much of government getting involved in everything. Mm -hmm. People aren't happy at the moment with what government does. Asking the government to do more is not the answer. This is one of the principles that I'm fighting uh, this leadership contest on. There is too much government. Every time there is uh, an issue or someone has a question, the answer cannot be, well, let's help the government help people to have babies, or let the government create a football regulator, or let the government come in and ban smoking in, in gardens. It's just excessive. The government is not good at doing this stuff. Government needs to focus on the few things that it does well, defense, domestic security, and so on, and leave all of this stuff to individuals. But what about things like maternity payment? We have one of the lowest rates in the OECD of maternity pay in this country. Changing that would probably help people make better decisions around family. Do you think we've got the right level of maternity pay at the moment? Uh, so maternity pay varies depending on who you work for, but it is a function uh, where it's statutory maternity pay. It is a function of tax. Tax comes from people who are working. We're taking from one group of people and giving to another. This, in my view, is excessive. Bus <laughs> That's how tax works, you idiot. You take from one group and you give it to another. D do you actually understand how tax works? So is she suggesting here people who don't have kids should not be taxed because some of that money is going to pay for education for people who do have kids? Or young working people shouldn't be taxed because some of that money is going to go to fund pensions? Or the elderly who require you know, more medical care than younger people. That's how tax works. You take from one, one group and you give to another. You know, in a normal society, uh, maybe she doesn't like normal societies, I don't know. You know, these, these Tories are just getting crazier and crazier by the day. But in a normal society, we understand as part of the social contract that, you know, I pay into something. I don't necess necessarily always get something back, but that's part of living in a society. Businesses are closing, businesses are not starting in the UK because they say that the burden of regulation is too high. So <laughs> Sorry, but this is a Brexiteer. A Brex somebody who campaigned for Brexit, still supports Brexit, thinks Brexit was a wonderful idea. And she's complaining about too much regulation, too much red tape. When the UK was a member of the single market, there was very little red tape. When the UK left the single market, which she thinks obviously was a good idea, regulations went up. See, these people are libertarians. They, what they want is no government, in a sense, or almost no government. As she said, well, it, we should just focus on defence and internal security, to, but leave everything else to the market. But regulations are not necessarily a bad thing. They can be a very good thing. They're there to protect consumers, for example. They're there to protect workers. They're there to protect citizens. They're also there to protect businesses from other businesses. She wants to live in some sort of wild west where there are no regulations or very minimal regulations. But you need, as a functioning society, regulations, once again, to protect consumers, protect citizens, and even to protect businesses from other businesses. Sanity pay is excessive. Far. I think it's gone too far, the, uh, too far the other way in terms of general business regulation. We need to allow businesses, especially small businesses, to make more of their own decisions. The exact amount of maternity pay, in my view, is neither here nor there. We need to make sure that we are creating an environment where people can work and people can have more freedom to make their individual well, decisions. Well, it's here nor there for people who can't afford to have a baby, we isn't it? We need to have more personal responsibility. It wasn't any maternity pay and people were having more babies. We need to make sure... Well, that's because that we women often had to not work. They had to stay at home. So is that the solution? That's not, that's, you're putting words in my mouth. No, she's not putting words in your mouth. She's coming to the conclusion of your argument. 
Sorry that the audio skipped here for a reason. This is not my fault. It's the original video. But she was suggesting, well, look, you know, we, in the past, we didn't have maternity pay and people still had kids. Yes, because women stayed at home. Are you suggesting women stay at home and only men work? What sort of society are you suggesting there? <laughs> you know, but also that's completely impractical today because in many cases you need two people working to cover the cost of living. These people don't live in reality. They're on the one hand saying, you know, we need to grow the British population. But on the other hand, we don't want to give people extra money in order to cover those costs. They'll say we're taking too much tax away from people, but they're happy to funnel money into public money, taxpayer money, into dodgy businesses and their donors. Hmm. <laughs> The point I'm making, Kate, is that we have got to a point where government isn't working anymore and it's tinkering everywhere. Me giving you an exact amount of what maternity pay should be when circumstances are different everywhere is not where we're well, starting from. Maternity pay. It's, it's not where I'm starting from in this campaign. I'm talking about principles. What is it that we believe as conservatives rather than throwing out lots of different policy ideas out there? Yeah. We've got to a point where government has become about, tech, about uh, technocratic micro policy management. That's not what's going to get this country growing. These people, the Conservatives, keep complaining about how government is a problem. Then they get into power and demonstrate that government is a problem. <laughs> like, shouldn't they be campaigning to stay out of government? Because every time they get in, they run public services into the ground. You know, a big problem, I think, for many of the main candidates who want to replace Rishi Sunak is that they're all connected to the previous administrations. They're all connected to Boris Johnson's administration, Liz Truss's, and Rishi Sunak's. And they can't run away from those responsibilities, be it on immigration, be it on uh, the economy, be it on public services. All of them are the arsonists standing around watching as Britain is burning, and a new government, whether it's doing it right or wrong, is trying to put out that fire. And they're saying, yeah, give us the matches again. Give us another go. We pro we pr we've proven to you that there shouldn't be a forest or there shouldn't be a building, but we need the matches again because we want to continue burning it down. It's ridiculous. Now, I don't think that they're going to win power with somebody who was part of the previous administration. They'll need, if they want a fresh start, they'll need a fresh face. They'll need somebody new to come in um, if, they have a if they really want a chance of turning things around. Because all of these legacy candidates are living in another world. They, they seem to think that we can just forget about what we did when we were in power and just uh, move on from that and win power back with policies about how government doesn't work and uh, taxes are too high for the richest, of course. They're living in another reality. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.